Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to effectively use the task manager in Linux. So for Linux, I'm going to use the CentOS. So let's start. So at first, you need to go to the applications, go to system tools. Here you can see a tool called system monitor. So if you just click it, you can see the system monitor. Here you can see four tabs called system, process, resources and file system. So these are the by default system monitor tool which is available in the CentOS that is in the Fedora version of the Linux that is in Red Hat, CentOS and also in the Fedora. So let's check it. So in the system tab you can see the information about the system which we are using so if you see I am using the CentOS 6.4 final edition and it's a kernel version here and I'm using the genome desktop user interface and the hardware which I'm using is go to dual processor with 1.8 GB of memory and the system status that is a disk space is 5.3 so if you have another some other information about this system you can see it here and the host name which I have given is web server so let's go to the process tab here you can see the list of process which was running currently or if it was in a sleeping state it can also be viewed here and you can also see the percentage of CPU which was utilized by your system if you see here this genome system one was utilizing about 10 percentage of the CPU and the memory which was used are also seen here and you can also see the process ID and also the information about the process some of the process like if you are running Firefox if you, you can see it was consuming about 138 MB of memory and uh, you can just right click to stop the process or you can continue the process or you can end or kill the process so end and kill is something different if you want to end the process it will just end it you can just click the end process to simply close the process it doesn't mean that it will kill the process kill is used only when the process cannot be ended and you can also change the priority of the process like minus 20 to 20 I'm just going to cancel it here so if you give the priority the CPU allocation will be high and more and more resources will be loaded by this process to function with a high priority and if you see another option called memory maps here you can see the information about the memory maps for the process that is the memory which is allocated by this process and you can also see the open files option here like you have seen in the windows such as open windows file location so like that you can see here if you just click it here you can go to the specific file location that is the desiring location of that file process for learning the process and this is how you will use this process tab here to close and to maintain the process details and etc etc and here you can see the resources tab here you can see the CPU history that is the graph just running and the memory details and the swap details which you have and the network history and it's a simple interface where you can have all this information in the Linux such as the CPU history memory and swap history and the network history so for example if you want the CPU history in different colors just select this option here you can see like changing the color pattern here you, you can see here the color may be changed and like that you can do for memory and swap also and also for network history 
So these are some other tweaks you have in the Linux system monitor which you should know like as if you know in your Windows. If you are a Linux guy then you must know all of these kind of things. <coughs> and the next thing is the file system. So here you can see what all the file drives which are you are using. That is the partitions which you are using here. I am using the virtual box so I am having the VHD partition here. So this is a root partition and this is the boot partition. So this is the virtual box addition partition which was given here. Like if you see here, I'm just going to eject it. And now let's check it. You see here it is gone. So like this you can just easily manage it and you can't manage the partition details here, but you can open it by double clicking it. And let's go to the menu option. Here you can see only little things here for the process. You can see <coughs> all process, active process. Like this you can see here. You can also check the dependencies here and the memory maps and the open face option which was given as it is in the process tab. And here if you go to edit you can see all the process here. And you can have an extra option called the preference where you can set the system monitor preference as, as needed by you. Like I'm going to set the information field here such as command line visual memory you see here it is added by default so this is how you will use uh, the resources also you can just update the intervals in seconds and the file system also you can change the update settings and you can also change the network in bits and bytes right now it will show in bytes so you can change it into the bits and this is how you will use your system monitor tool in Linux and there are some other things which you should learn about the system monitor tool in the Linux and I think this video might be helpful to you to get some knowledge about the system monitor in the Linux and for more and more videos just subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching my video and thank you bye bye subscribe for more videos at uh, check in and you can also visit my website www.techtchkn.in and thank you bye bye thank you and say bye